have another nail art for us. Um, today we're gonna be doing water marble. Yay! Um, the water marble, you'll notice that I have lots of green and blues, um, really light colors with just a little bit of purple, darker green mixed in. Because I want to do uh, a water marble in the background with some shell on top. And I want to try to achieve a certain look. So I'm going to try. I don't know how well it's going to work. To start, I want to use this thermal color. Um, warm to cool. It goes from like almost a white to a dark green teal color. And it's called Diva Fan from Color Club. I want to put two coats of that down on the nail, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have my color down. Now I'm going to go for my water marble. I think I'll start off, oops, <clears throat> by making a huge mess. I'm just going to start dropping colors. You don't have to use all the colors that I have out. I just wanted to make almost like a marbly design. And I'm hoping ugh, to get a nice balance of color. Now, I think I want to go right down the center like that. Uh, I don't have my nail on, so I'm going to grab my nail, put it on my tool. Okay, let me get my cleanup tool, <laughs> cleanup brush. Oh, that looks so nice. Oh, that looks really nice. Cool. Okay, so I want to keep doing that. Do another one with you before I move on.
Okay. Now I think this one I want to do a little different. I'm looking for specific kind of lines. Okay, I think I ran it up in here. Should have put it on my tool. I should have probably put it on my tool, but I just, I wanted to grab it before I forgot where I was looking at. Okay. Oh, Tobis. <laughs> he wags his big tail at me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and clean my water here, and I'm going to go ahead and continue doing my marbles. And this kind of section is perfect for what I'm kind of looking for with the shell. This is going to be a little bit harder to do, but I can still make it kind of work. So. I'm going more for angles like this. So, I will be back when I've got some done, and I will see you in a minute. Okay, I am back. I'm gonna take some of my resin here, and I'm gonna put some over here. And I'm going to start putting on my shell. I want to go for a dark one here. Let's see, I want a certain shape. Ooh, funky.
I want a certain shape. There. <clears throat> I to make that shape. Oh, I like that one. Okay, let's see. Oop. My resin is getting kind of slimy. I think I want to go for something really cool. And I'm just kind of feeling out where I want them. <laughs> Sorry, it's stuck on my finger. Hmm. I got a whole bunch of hair stuck on this thing. Where do I want to go? I think...
Oh, I like that nice little small piece there. Ooh, pretty. I think over there I want... Come here, buddy. And I'm just kind of going around and seeing where some things might fit. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my resin dry a little bit. And just let everything kind of adhere to it. Then what I want to do is um, I want to come in with my IBD LED bonder. And I'll just let you see kind of what I've done so far. Yes, things are kind of sticking up a little bit. Don't forget, as you use acrylic and file down, things will, will shape and go to the way it's supposed to be. Um, that kind of gives it more of a interesting look. Um, I'm not done by any stretch at this point. I'm going to let everything dry. I'm going to put down my bonder. Then I think at that point, um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do acrylic, poly, or I just want to do some, I might just do some clear gel today. Um, really get those colors going out of there. So I think we'll do some clear gel and uh, we'll have everything encapsulated in that. And then we'll go through and file. And then we're going to actually do some painting still on top of that. So, okay, so I'm going to let this, this really cure well and dry up. And then I'll be back. Okay, I decided to go with acrylic. I haven't done acrylic in a while and I miss it. Okay, I'm going to go on with my acrylic and just start encapsulating.
I find acrylic is always the easiest to encapsulate with anyway. Especially when you got something fairly thick like shell. Okay, that was way too big of a bead, I think, for what I need. But that's okay. Let me turn it out just perfect if I do it just right. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so I got that one encapsulated and I'm gonna move on to my next one. I have a little spot here that I'm not liking. I'm just gonna fix up. There. Oh, that looks really well. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep encapsulating. Maybe I'll do one more with you. Encapsulating is basically what it is, encapsulating. Basically it's just picking up the bead, making sure you got the bead pre like wet enough to work, but yet not wet enough that it's going to run everywhere. It's a lot of pushing and pulling. And then it's just tapping and pushing things around to where it's got to go, making sure you got the right amount. Hold on, I was going to do that, but now I see there's a bubble here. And my thing about encapsulating is not to waste too much product. Like you want to keep your brush just at the right wetness. You want to have just the right amount of bead and yet you want to push and tap but I don't want to get too much in my bristles so I want to keep my brush clean sometimes I don't know maybe it's just a feel for it you get used to it you get a feel for how you can how much you can you get to judge how much you have on your on your brush and what's going on when you're encapsulating so I'm gonna go ahead it's very important to me to keep this brush very clean too because I find it works better when it's clean so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this off and I will be back when I'm done and we'll move on to the next step 
Okay, I just finished all my acrylic, so I'm going to let everything dry. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to do a tiny little bit of buffing, filing, not a ton, because I want to leave uh, most of that type of thing for the end. Well, I was... I, I do want to do a little bit of buffing. It is in pretty good shape. I just want to clean it up a little bit. And then um, what we'll do is do our painting after we're done that. And we'll go from there. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, time to do a little painting. Mm. I just got my black paint. And what I'm doing, oh my child is very, very loud. I need a little more water here, hold on. Needs to flow a little bit better. Now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of, not outlining, kind of making, um, Kind of giving it um, some flair around my my shell pieces. So something like that. And I might even do a little bit of highlighting either with white or gold. I think I might do it with gold. <clears throat> you want to kind of go with the angles that you have. So, it 
And it's hard too because you never know. How it's going to look so if you don't like something you might have to change it out And so something like that. And you can pretty well get jiggy with it. You don't have to do anything specific. You can kind of just play around with it. I'm going to go and I'm going to finish these off because painting sometimes can take me quite the while until I play, until I like something a lot. And then if I'm going to make any changes or do anything, I'll come let you know. But I'll be right back. Okay, at this point, <clears throat> I got a little bit of this. It's called Creme Brulee. It's from Revlon. It's just a little bit of gold paint. And I'm just adding little tiny details in. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. There's certain tiny points. Just a little bit of gold. I think I want it to be here. And I'm trying to keep it real small. Just like that. And that's all I'm doing on that one. And actually, you know what I might do? I might just put a little bit up in here. Like that. There. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm keeping it really, really, really tiny if I can. I think this one I want it right in here. Really, really tiny if I can. Maybe a little bit in here. Okay, I just got a little bit out of there. I just want to make sure doesn't show on my black there okay just gonna get a little bit more it's starting to dry up there okay this one I want it right here that's it and maybe a little bit right here. There. Oh, I'm having a hard time. I'm shaking really bad right now. I'll go in and I'll add a little bit of black to that just to cover that. So I want it really, really tiny. There. Do that after. Okay, I think I just want it here. I'll go in with the black and touch that up. There, like that. I can do that one right now before I forget. There. And the gold. Just a little bit more up here. There's, that's the perfect amount that I wanted, yes. Okay. 
then I think I'll do a little bit here and a little bit in here. That's perfect. That's exactly it. Okay, I'm going to go back and fix that other one. Okay, so I'm just going to let this dry and then I'm going to top coat. Go around, do any touch ups that I need to do, and I will take some shots for you and I will see you next time. Bye. Okay, and here are our finished nails. I think they're absolutely fabulous. I'll put some light on there just so you can see the lovely, lovely shell inside. Try to get some color on there. I think they turned out really, really well. Really, really well. Oh, they're so pretty. Taking up all those lights and highlights. Okay, I'm going to take some pictures, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.